All right, so here's my question. I have a oiling situation here that I can't exactly copy from the, the original design from the motorcycle. So I have a external oil tank right here, which I have coming out of the motor. I believe this is the output going into the bottom of the oil tank here. My output's a bit high, so I have to run very high oil level, but this should be the output. It goes back around and back into the top part of the motor here, which is the input. Now, my question is, and I've tested this a little bit by just applying air pressure into this line here, I get flow out of the output here through this line into the camshaft. Now, right, you can see right now I have a different line for debugging. But, but I was under the understanding that the oil pump actually had two pumps in it, one scavenging and one high pressure. That's a question I have that I, I don't have an answer to. So the situation I'm having right now is how much oil to run in this configuration without it smoking out of the tailpipe uh, very extensively. Uh, I've been running this thing for quite a while actually now with not enough oil uh, because I, I was running it for a while and it got hot. It was still running and still turns over easily but not putting out the same kind of power so I actually stopped and this is what I have going now with a clear line coming off the cam pressure fitting and then I just turned it over so I have a, a drill that I put into the crank and just turned the motor over to get oil pressure and I wasn't getting any oil through this line so I kept adding more oil through the cam cover into the crankcase until I started getting oil through this pressure line uh, but now that I have sufficient oil for that flow I just get a, a lot of burning oil out of the exhaust pipe so in the normal bike configuration you have this output line going into the top tube of the chassis which then is gravity fed as it drops down the, the front tube into this fitting that I have adjusted here back into the motor and that tank is also ventilated to the top uh, vent port of the, the cylinder or the, the head there. But my question is, you know, with this system here, with the oil tank being as low as it is, uh, this output here is still higher than the input into the motor, but only by a couple of inches. And I was wondering if that's sufficient or what exactly is going on here. Uh, my, other, my other thing is, uh, and also why I ran this line off the cam pressure into a just a, a quart here, is to eliminate any oil that's up in the cam area. To, to see if maybe I had a intake uh, valve guide leak or exhaust valve guide leak and I didn't have any difference running in this configuration. I still get a lot of oil burning out of the tailpipe. 